today we just finished reading the second part of our story in the Jesus and the very big surprise. <laughs> Jesus, now that what we just... <laughs> It is a great surprise. Now we get to jump into the Bible and we get to see how Jesus, now that he's grown up, kind of like your daddy's age, he is going around traveling from city to city, teaching others about our wonderful God. One way that Jesus taught was through parables. Parables are short, simple stories used to teach a lesson. I like to say they're an earthly story that Jesus taught with a heavenly meaning. Our parable for today is about servants who would help the king and clean things and serve him. And of course, the king. Do kings wear crowns? Today, our parable is when Jesus was on earth telling an earthly story. This parable is written in the book of Luke. So if you guys can grab your Bibles, and turn to the New Testament with me, the book of Luke. We are going to look for chapter 12, the big number 12, and then the small numbers 35 through 38. I'm going to throw up the Bible verses so you can read along, just in case you didn't have your Bible handy. Here we go. So, stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning, and be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast, so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will dress himself for service and then have them recline at table, and he will come and serve them. If he comes in the second watch or the third and finds them awake, blessed are those servants. This is such an amazing story, guys, and it's true. So now I'm going to have fun with our word surprise. Every time I say it, I want us to throw up our hands, you too, and pretend you have confetti. It's going to look like this. Surprise! So here's your first question. What was surprising? to you in that parable that Jesus was telling about the servants and the king. Think about it. Yes, instead of having the servants serve the king, Jesus turned it around and the king wanted to serve his servants. That was so surprising. How do you think the servants felt? Okay, this is fun too. I want you to get your best emoji faces ready. How do you think the servants felt when their king was gonna serve them? Here we go. Do you think they were happy? Let me see it. Do you think they were excited? Show me an excited face. Or do you think maybe the servants were shocked? Or could it be that those servants were? Surprised! Yes, I do believe they were surprised. Jesus uses these parables to teach lessons. So let's think about things we have learned. We know that Jesus is our king. We also know from this story that the king in the parable was serving his servants. So if someone's in the room with you, I want you to ask them a question. See if you guys can think of one way that we know Jesus has served people in our Bible stories. Think about it. I'll wait right here. Did y'all come up with a good one? I know I did. I'm gonna show you three that I thought of. I know that Jesus fed them, he healed them, he did so many miracles, and he taught them. It is so amazing. Next week, we're gonna open back up to Luke 12 and those same verses, and we're gonna dive digger to really find out what the parable means. Jesus served people in the Bible, and you know what? He served us. In fact, Jesus served everybody. He died to become our rescuer but he didn't stay dead. He is our perfect savior and rescuer. So let's remember how ah, awesome and exciting and surprising the gift of Jesus is. We have a great memory verse that helps us remember this. And I'm not gonna open my Bible this time. I wanna challenge all of us to memorize John 3, 16. Some of you know it, you can say it with me right now, but if you don't, we're gonna throw the Bible verse up on your TV right now, and we're gonna learn it together. Are we ready? 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Y'all, that is amazing news. And I can't just sit here and say, see you till next week. We have to thank God for that. So can you clap with me three times? Get ready for prayer. Take a deep breath. We are gonna thank God for this amazing love for us. Are you ready? Dear God, we thank you so much. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus. We thank you that Jesus could teach us things through parables, his short stories. Lord, we thank you for loving us enough to send Jesus. And we want to lean into you and learn more about you and your will in our lives. We love you, Lord. Amen. It was so good spending this time with you guys. And I always love to finish with this. Can you all give yourself a big bear hug? I mean tight. And say with me, God loves me. God loves me. And he does. Yeah.